Hi, my name's Ron Sober. I'm a learning specialist here at Human Resource Development. And I'm Deborah Orlowski. I'm also a learning specialist at HRD. Deborah's here today because uh, we want to talk about a couple of the upcoming programs that we uh, have uh, starting uh, in our summer series. Uh, Deborah is uh, our, our chief person responsible for bringing in uh, talent for our special events and, and conferences. Uh, hopefully some of you have been to some of our events before, but if you uh, haven't, uh, I really encourage you to come. And Deborah, can you say something about our, uh, our event that's coming up with uh, Sean Duperin and Stu Tubbs? Yes, and Susan Christie. Oh, and Susan Christie, yeah. correct. What do they have in common besides the fact that their names all start with an S? <laughs> <laughs> and it's the summer series. <laughs> Uh, what they have in common is the fact that they are absolutely unique and award-winning presenters. Uh, Sean uh, is an Emmy-winning presenter, and as a matter of fact, her latest project um, it has gone viral. So she's, she's an amazing presenter. She's going to be talking about managing fear and managing your life. And certainly, as someone who has appeared on, you know, Good Morning America and things like that, Sean really has a good sense of the kinds of things that could stop people from going ahead. And what she talks about is the fact that it's not the fear that should stop us, it's how do you manage the fear. Because everybody has fear about something, whether it's doing this, you know, or talking to your boss, or going back to school, or presenting a project to somebody, or taking on the lead in something, everybody has fear. And so what she talks about in her presentations uh, is about how do you use that fear to really help propel you to be the best that you possibly can be. So I think that's a, a, a wonderful uh, thing that we all need to know. Stu Tubbs is uh, going to be talking about surviving office politics. Stu has won 10 outstanding teaching awards uh, as a faculty member. So obviously he's not just someone that's a sage on the stage. Right. He really knows how to relate to his students. And if you read some of the uh, nominations for his awards, you can see how he really gets to people and can really talk to them and be practical uh, about what he's, who, what he's doing with them. The, the thing that's interesting about this presentation to me is that Anybody who has a tenured faculty member who has won that many awards has gone through a lot of mm -hmm. political life. Right. And so what Stu is going to help us all realize is that politics is a part of every organization. And it's not something that you can say, I don't want to deal with politics. And a lot of times I hear people say, oh, politics, I hate that, I can't deal with it. Well, the thing of it is you have to because mm -hmm. that's part of life. So he talks about how do you influence people, how do you talk to them, what are the things that you can do to not avoid the political life, but rather how to look at it and how to be aware of it and how to, again, use it so that you can benefit. Um, Susan Christie is the only person that we, I mean, because we've, yeah. we've all Yeah, I've seen Susan out. a few times. Yeah. And she's the only person in the country that we know of who is, has specialized in working with bridging the gap between faculty and staff. So how right. do you work with... And, and, and physicians. Right, yes, correct, correct. Yeah. With physicians, how do you... So if you're a staff member here, how do you work with that faculty member? How do you get into his or her head? How do you get into the physician's head to understand how can I be more effective with dealing with them? So that's... that's um, now she's done two programs, right, Susan? Yeah, and she's also going to be doing influencing without authority. Mm. So again, it's it's she's going to be building on the other session. It's not going to be the same thing. Right. But clearly, um, her expertise again is how do you work with people who, really, you have no authority over. Right. You have no authority when you're working with a faculty member, if you're a staff member or a physician, or if I'm working on a team with you. How do I get you and I to work together if I don't, if, if I don't have any stick? You know? Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> so so um, Susan's going to be talking about that. Uh, as you said, she's been here a couple of times before, and the reason why we brought her back was because she was so well-received. People loved her. She's just so engaging. and yeah. it's, I'm really excited about this series. You know, Once again, we have world-class people coming. Hopefully uh, we'll see you at the summer session. If no, not, uh, not hopefully we, we will, will okay. see you at the summer session. Absolutely. <laughs> if not all this, all the sessions, uh, uh, at least try to make it out to one because there are going to be some fantastic presentations yeah. and some really great interactive learning that's going to happen. Right. Thank you. Bye. See you this summer.